Ever wondered why some people seem to achieve their dreams while others struggle? The answer lies in unlocking your potential. Picture this, you're like a seed, brimming with the potential to grow into a mighty tree. You possess an inherent, untapped resource of strength, capability, and possibility. This is your personal potential. It's the latent power within you, waiting to be discovered, nurtured, and unleashed. It's the key to achieving your dreams, to scaling the heights you've always imagined. But what is this potential, and why does it matter? Think of it as your capacity for growth, change, and achievement. It's the difference between who you are now and who you could be. It's the gap between your current reality and your future possibilities. And bridging this gap, unlocking your potential, is essential for personal growth and fulfillment. The importance of realizing one's potential cannot be overstated. It's like a treasure hidden within you, waiting to be unearthed. It's the spark that ignites the flame of change, the force that propels you towards your goals, the compass that guides you on your journey of self-improvement. And the beauty of it? It's unique to you. No one else possesses the same combination of talents, abilities, and aspirations that you do, making your potential as unique as your fingerprint. But how do you tap into this potential? How do you unlock the treasure chest that lies within? The answer lies in strategies and insights that can help you cultivate self-awareness, set meaningful goals, manage your time effectively, develop emotional intelligence, build resilience, and find your purpose. These are the keys to unlocking your potential, to turning the seed within you into a flourishing tree. So are you ready to embark on this journey of self-discovery and growth? Are you ready to unlock your potential and step into the person you were always meant to be? If the answer is yes, then you're in for a transformative journey. Unlocking your potential is the first step towards personal growth and fulfillment. But how do you do that? Stay tuned. To unlock your potential, you first need to know yourself. Welcome to the realm of self-awareness. Self-awareness is the conscious knowledge of one's own character, feelings, motives, and desires. It's the lens through which you see yourself, unfiltered and honest. But how does one cultivate this essential trait? There are two powerful techniques to foster self-awareness, mindfulness and introspection. Mindfulness is the practice of paying attention to the present moment without judgment. It's about experiencing life as it unfolds, rather than being lost in thoughts of the past or future. Imagine savoring the taste of your morning coffee, feeling its warmth seeping into your hands, inhaling its rich aroma. That's mindfulness, being fully present in the moment. Introspection, on the other hand, is the process of examining your own thoughts and feelings. It involves asking yourself probing questions and seeking honest answers. It's about understanding why you react the way you do, why certain things make you happy or upset. It's like having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with yourself. So what happens when you combine mindfulness and introspection? You gain a deep understanding of yourself, your strengths, weaknesses, passions, and fears. This knowledge is empowering. It's like having a roadmap to your mind, understanding your triggers and knowing what truly fulfills you. But why is self-awareness so crucial? Well, it's the cornerstone of personal growth and fulfillment. It allows you to recognize patterns in your behavior, helping you to make conscious choices rather than being driven by unconscious habits. It can help you navigate relationships better, as understanding yourself makes it easier to understand others. It can even boost your resilience, as knowing your emotional triggers can help you manage stress more effectively. Importantly, self-awareness is key to unlocking your potential. It's the first step in setting meaningful goals, making informed decisions, and ultimately leading a fulfilling life. It's like finding the compass that points to your true north. Self-awareness is the mirror that reflects your potential. Now that you know yourself, let's set some goals. Knowing yourself is the first step. The next step, charting your course with meaningful goals. Setting goals is more than just saying you want something to happen. Unless you clearly define precisely what you want and understand why you want it the first place, your odds of success are considerably reduced. This is where the concept of SMART goals comes into play. Goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Let's break down each element. A specific goal is well-defined and clear. 
It's the difference between saying, I want to read more, and I want to read 24 books this year. The latter gives you a clear target to aim for. Measurable goals mean that you identify exactly what it is you will see, hear, and feel when you reach your goal. This could be a number, a certain feeling, or a specific situation. Continuing with the reading example, you could measure your progress by counting the number of books you've read. Achievable goals are realistic and attainable. It's great to dream big, but your goals should also be rooted in reality. If you've only ever read three books in a year, jumping to 24 might not be achievable. Relevant goals should align with your other life goals and long-term plans. If your ultimate goal is to become a software developer, reading 24 books about history might not be as relevant as reading coding books. And finally, time-bound goals have a specific deadline. This creates a sense of urgency and can motivate you to start working towards the goal. So instead of saying, I'll read 24 books, you could say, I'll read two books per month for the next year. The power of SMART goals lies in their ability to provide clarity, direction, and motivation. They allow you to focus your efforts, use your time and resources productively, and increase your chances of achieving what you truly desire in life. With your goals set, you're ready for the journey. But remember, every journey has its obstacles. Obstacles are not roadblocks, but stepping stones to your success. This is a mantra that we should all embrace. Obstacles, after all, are a part of life. They can appear in various forms, be it a challenging work situation, a personal setback, or an unexpected life event. But it's important to remember that these hurdles are not designed to hinder you. Instead, they are opportunities for growth, resilience, and self-discovery. So how do we tackle these obstacles? The first step is to develop resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from adversity. It is a mental toughness that allows you to face challenges head on without losing your spirit. Think of resilience as your personal shield, protecting you from the blows of life's hardships. Next, we need to hone our adaptability skills. Life is unpredictable, and the only constant is change. Adapting to new circumstances, whether it's a new job, a change in relationship status, or a shift in your personal goals, is critical for personal growth. It's about being flexible and open-minded, ready to adjust your sails whenever the winds of life change their course. Finally, we must foster emotional intelligence. This is the ability to understand and manage your emotions, as well as those of others. Emotional intelligence can help you navigate difficult situations with grace and empathy, allowing you to maintain control even when things seem chaotic. It's about being aware of your feelings, understanding them, and using this knowledge to guide your actions. Remember, every obstacle you face is a chance to learn and grow. It's an opportunity to test your resilience, adaptability, and emotional intelligence. It's an invitation to step out of your comfort zone, to stretch your abilities, and to discover what you're truly capable of. So the next time you encounter an obstacle, embrace it. See it not as a roadblock, but as a stepping stone to your success. Overcoming obstacles is a test of your potential. Once you pass this test, you are ready to find your purpose. Your potential is not just about what you can do, but why you do it. It's time to find your purpose. Imagine a compass. It's a small instrument, yet it holds the power to guide us, to steer us in the right direction. This compass signifies our purpose in life. It's an inner calling, a deep-seated passion that fuels our actions and shapes our decisions. It is the why behind our what. And when we find it, we find our true north. But how do we find our purpose? It's not something that's handed to us or something that we stumble upon. It's a journey, a journey of self-discovery and introspection. It involves understanding what truly matters to us, what makes us feel alive, what we are passionate about. It's about identifying our strengths, our values, and aligning them with our goals and actions. Let's pause for a moment. Take a deep breath. Now ask yourself, what makes you feel excited and motivated? What is that one thing that you could do for hours without feeling tired? What is it that you care about deeply? The answers to these questions are clues, clues that will lead you to your purpose. Finding your purpose is not an end in itself, rather, it's a means to an end. It's the spark that ignites your potential, the fuel that drives your journey towards personal growth and fulfillment.
When you align your actions with your purpose, you are not just surviving, you are thriving. You are not just doing what you can do, you are doing what you are meant to do. Remember, your purpose is unique to you. It's not about what others are doing or what the world expects of you. It's about what resonates with you, what fulfills you, and what makes you feel authentic and true to yourself. Finding your purpose is the ultimate key to unlocking your potential. Congratulations, your journey towards personal growth and fulfillment has just begun.